Salesforce Space Station. Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to generate an email log. But before we dive into it, let's first discuss what are the use cases of email logs. So email logs can be used to check the status of the email you sent from Salesforce. So all the emails that you've sent from Salesforce will have an email log against it. So you will know the status of that email. So for example, um, you have a client that uh, says that they haven't received emails from you guys for days now. So as a first step of investigation, you want to know what happened to those emails. So you will now check, uh, generate an email log to check each email status. Another use case is email logs can be used to check if the emails from automation is triggered. So for example, you have an automation where um, an email will be sent after a certain action has been executed. So um, you already have that in live, but you don't have any uh, way to know if the email has been triggered at all. Because the email that is being sent from automation will not be generated on the activity timeline of, it, of that record. So that's when you can use email logs to check if the email automation has been triggered at all or if it has been sent successfully. All right, so now we're going to send out some test emails and generate a log against it. So for this, I'm just going to call this test email. Send. So I should be able to receive an email. Yep. So I was able to, to receive the email. So now we're going to generate a log against it. So to generate email logs, just go to set up email logs and then click on request an email log. So from here, you will be prompted to select start time and end time. Since I just sent this today, I'm going to select the start time as today. And since I just sent it like a few minutes ago, I'm going to adjust this to 1147. So here you have uh, notification recipients so you you need to add an email address here if you want to be notified once the, the email log has been generated but um, in this video I'm not gonna do that since we're just going to generate uh, one email log so it, it should take like one to two minutes and then here you can this one uh, work as a filter so for example um, you you, uh, you have a lot of emails in traffic for this specific uh, specific time but you only want to get the emails that is being sent for this specific email address then you just need to add that email address but for this um video i'm not gonna do that because we want to generate all the emails that will be um that has been sent for this specific time frame so once that is done just click on submit request and then we should just wait for one to two minutes to generate the email logs all right, so once the email log has been generated, you can just download it. So once you open it, it will be a CSV file and you will have this um, specific columns. So this will be the date and time the email um, leave and um, sent or, or received from the, from the recipient server. So you have the here mail event. So R means receive, D means delivered. So every email that you sent, you will have two logs here. So um, one R log and one delivered log. So um, again, receive um, is telling you that the email has been received from the recipient client and D has been uh, is to, to um, denote that the email left Salesforce. So from here, um, we can check other statuses. So we know that this email has been delivered successfully because we have R and D statuses, but sometimes you will be receiving T and P. So T means transient error, which means that's a temporary error. error. Um, so the system tries to send an email but got rejected by the server, but it will still try to send that email again for the next 24 hours. Then once you are... Uh, and then and the letter P means permanent error, means uh, the, re the email was totally rejected by the um, recipient server. 
So that could be due to multiple reasons, but uh, most the most fam- famous one is that they are blocking it or identifying it as spoofing email. So there are a lot of ways to improve your email deliverability that could be discussed in a later video. But yeah, that th- this is how you generate email logs and that what it means um, for e- each email logs that you um, generate. This is the statuses. Sales for Space Station.